What is up guys welcome back to another video so today we are looking at the phones under 30,000 Indian rupees so under 30,000 there are plenty of options out there the phone from Vivo Oppo you have the option from OnePlus plenty of again options and plenty of offers and deals as well going on with the, all the phones pretty much out there especially with this season particular season for two or three months the prices will be very fluctuating I would say because you'll get some top tier phones at very discounted pricing as well so make sure to check the description for latest updated pricing as well as models I'll keep updated with this in this video so this video will feature best phones under 30,000 Indian rupees whether you are looking for great multimedia experience with great speaker as well as display and whether you are looking for gaming related phone with better heat dissipation and better performance chipset out there so you'll have the answer in this video so without wasting any more time let's begin with the video then the number one in the list is Poco F5 5G so it's a brand new phone from Poco at this price range it's a great phone so the segment first 12 bit 6.67 inch displays what you are getting with this one it's a gorgeous beautiful display with 1000 plus nits of brightness along with that you have the snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 chipset for that extra performance so the combination is really good here and the camera here is 64 megapixels so i think this is a safe bet if you're looking for a great gaming phone along with multimedia experience if you want that kind of thing so just go ahead and buy the poco f5 5g yeah don't get confused with other phones the number two in the list if you're looking for overall like performance camera oriented phone let's say even for the selfies and even even for multi great multimedia experience out there so this is a phone from samsung it's the samsung f54 5g again latest edition from samsung Air. beautiful display you have the 6.7 inch 120 hertz samsung's own amoled plus display 108 megapixel no shake which has optical image stabilization and 32 megapixel selfie camera with plenty of features going for it so especially with one ui interface from samsung it's performing really really great so you remove that perception that samsung is very laggy in terms of performance in terms of user interface interface on how you use it so that era has gone now samsung is performance really great so samsung's one ui interface is the best one so this is my personal choice again this has exynos 1380 chipset so exynos is really good in terms of performance it's not like everybody has the perception that only snapdragon chipsets are really great no nope. so these are very competitive and performing really great as well so yeah number two in the list is the samsung f54 5g if you're looking for multimedia experience great value for money great camera setup so just go ahead and buy the samsung f54 5g so if you are not a samsung fan definitely there is another option out there it's the iq00 neo 7 5g so again we was cousin you can say so it has diamond city 8200 chipset with four nanometers so the first in the segment again so great performing chipset here with no throttle issues and you also have the 120 watts fast charging and i think the charger comes inside the box as well you also have the 64 megapixel optical image stabilization i think the picture quality is really great as well along with the 16 megapixel selfie camera and last but not the least 6.7 inch 120 hertz amoled display so it's a complete feature set complete performance package i can say so value for money phone is what you get with the iq00 neo 7 so if you're not satisfied with all these phones just go ahead and buy the realme 11 pro plus so again realme has plenty of models out there so don't get confused with this one so this is the realme 11 pro plus 5g pro plus is what you should look for 6.7 inch 120 hertz amoled display so what's cool here is you get the 200 megapixel with optical image stabilization camera with 4x lossless zoom so if you're after a better camera quality oriented phone for that landscape shots wide angle shots zoomed shots so definitely you can check the realme 11 pro plus so it's getting better and better every day for the realme phones if you ask for my personal choice i would definitely pick the samsung's f54 5g for safer side because they release updates quite often and it's a quite mature phone out there so these were the phones i did not consider the oneplus it's uh, getting older and older so i was a huge fan of oneplus back then when it had oxygen os and they released some really good phones out there oneplus 6 oneplus 7 that era has gone completely when they have merged with all these other phones so it's not an interesting phone out there i've not uh, considered the techno cam on they might be good but again these are the safe bet that you can pick for hope this video was helpful to you if yes hit that like button don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button so i'll see you all in the next one till then take care everyone bye bye Thank you.